Welcome to the 2014 Astronomy Photographer of the Year competition here at the beautiful Royal Observatory in Greenwich. I'm Kieran Allen, online editor of Sky at Night magazine. And I'm staff writer Elizabeth Pearson, and we're really excited to find out who tonight's winners are. Um, first of all, I just wanted to start by asking what your favourite image has been this year. Oh, this is like asking somebody for their favourite child. I have to say, for once, yeah. I, one of my favourite images is the winner. That shot of the aurora is so close to the experience of seeing a good auroral display. Yeah. Normally, sometimes with aurora images, it's beautiful technicolour and 70s sci-fi. This feels real. Yeah. yeah, It's unusual too, an aurora picture's never won the overall, overall prize before, and I think Maybe we've had a sense that it could be too easy. You know, they, they put on a beautiful show. This one really deserves it. So other than the winning image, have there been any other surprises this year for you? I think the solar photography is having a bit of a renaissance. I think whether that's the weather or the technology or just people paying attention to the sun for the first time in a while. I think that's been one of the themes of the year. So, Mark, how did it feel when they told you that you'd won your award? Uh, well, I was flabbergasted, I guess. <laughs> Were you expecting it? I was not expecting it. Is there any sort of particular reason why you, you, you first got into astrophotography? Yeah, some, one of my friends told me one time, they said, if you look at that point of light and then you zoom in out, there's more points of light and more points of light, and that was, <laughs> that's all it took. <laughs> so I bought a telescope and I started looking through it and I couldn't see anything. <laughs> so I taped my camera on it. That's how it started. Do you have any plans for astrophotography throughout the rest of the year? Whenever it's clear, I'm taking images. <laughs> so. Well, hopefully you'll enter again next year. Yes, I will. Eugen, thanks ever so much for talking to us. Um, it's a really fantastic image, the composition and everything. How did you, how did you capture that moment? How, can you talk us through it? Yeah, sure. Um, I, I mean, uh, it's the amazing thing about life uh, that everything that we can imagine, we can transfer to materialize in reality, you know? And this image I was dreaming of like really for years and I was wondering myself and asking myself why no one has put a human in a total solar eclipse. Okay, in this case we have a hybrid solar eclipse, so it, it was like annual and was ending in Ethiopia with a total solar eclipse of was uh, just lasting just 15 seconds. And so it's, it's my biggest dream uh, to realize my visions into reality. And uh, at this time I, I was making it. Yeah, yes. fantastic. Okay, so Melanie, do you have a personal favourite image out of this year's entries? Oh gosh, this is such a difficult question, you have no idea. My heart breaks every time I'm being asked that. I have quite a few personal favourites. Actually, we're sitting just next to one of my very personal favourites, which is this one here, Patrick Cullis's uh, Moon Balloon. And to me, it evokes the very famous Earthrise picture from 1968 taken by the Apollo 8 crew. Um, but also it's kind of showing how fragile the Earth is and there's something very close to us when you look at it. And the idea is that now astrophotographers can be uh, inventive enough to be taking pictures from an air balloon, not having to be astronauts, but still being able to see the Earth from the sky. And the idea is that, you know, in the Earthrise picture you have um, the moon's horizon and in the distance you have the earth and here you've got the earth's horizon and in the distance you have the moon and I just find it to be very poetic and very beautiful and very poignant and it really speaks to me in a way. Alexandra, thanks very much for speaking to us today. How does it feel to win your award? Um, I'm absolutely flabbergasted actually. I didn't think I would get anything but yeah. you know, to get two was quite amazing really. Fantastic. Um, very surprised. Can you talk us through how you took your images? Um, let's start with, well, which one would you like to start with? Because <laughs> well, both really were taken exactly the same, okay, okay. actually on the same day. Yeah. Um, usually sort of like in springtime we have the best weather. Um, so it's just, um, I took it with a solar scope, um, which is from the Isle of Man. Um, and um, it's a hydrogen alpha filter, 
um, and just attach it to the front of the telescope um, and then have a look through it and see what I can see. And usually there's some lovely prominences about and on that day I had beautiful clear seeing and there was a lot of activity on the sun so I was snapping away for ages getting lots of different images and obviously these two have got through so I was very very pleased. Absolutely. What was your favourite image this year? <laughs> it is so, so hard to decide. Obviously, I really love the winning image, that beautiful picture of the aurora over the lake in Iceland. Um, there were some that I was particularly fond of, though, and one of them was the, the beautiful picture of the moon with the twigs in front of it. Um, quite a surprising choice, I think, in some ways, because the moon is actually out of focus. But I just thought there was real poetry in that picture, and the fact that it was taken by a 12-year-old girl just really, really brought home the fact that this is a competition for everybody. So, were there any other surprises this year? <laughs> Absolutely. We, we always get pictures of the Horsehead Nebula, we always get pictures of the Pleiades. But what I really like this year is we had some really interesting treatments of them. That, that Horsehead image where you see the glowing gas beneath the horse's neck, which you very rarely see in pictures. And then the picture of the Pleiades where you actually get to see all of this amazing sort of cirrus of dust in our galaxy that normally is, is just completely washed out in Pleiades images. So some really novel treatments of familiar faces. And would you have any advice for people who want to submit entries for next year? Yeah, absolutely. Get out there with your camera. You don't even need a telescope, but if you have one, obviously have a go with that too. <laughs> Take some pictures and, and get them in. We have some really experienced astrophotographers every year in the competition who produce stunning pictures, but some of the best pictures are always by people who are having a go for the first time. So don't be intimidated. Get out there and enjoy it. It's, it's about the beauty of the universe that we live in, and every year the pictures are a testament to that. We've had a great evening here at the Royal Greenwich Observatory, talking to all of the winners. There's been some amazing images from people all over the world. Tell us what you think at our Twitter page, at Sky Night Mag, or on our Facebook page. Good night. Good night.